Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my two week review of the Huawei P40 Pro. Now the P40 Pro is a lovely looking device and this is going to be about my day to day use of this device. You've seen the hardware, you know those kind of functionalities, you know what's in there spec wise, you know the Kirin 990, 8 gigs of RAM, all that stuff. So I'm not going to jump in into much of that but I'm going to talk about usability. So my sim's in this device, I've been using it for a bit here. Uh, the first thing you wanna ask is just general usability, right? Uh, the fingerprint sensor, the facial recognition work absolutely flawless. It is fast, it is responsive. So getting to the device doesn't take time, and I like that. You know, that's because of course the in-display uh, optical fingerprint uh, sensor, and also the facial recognition with the dual uh, hole punch cameras. Now, that aspect is pretty cool. The aspect I really like about this device, of course, is the camera. And that's where, of course, you're gonna see a lot of people focus on because the camera really does a good job. Now, you've seen my buddy Super Saf has said, look, this is probably now his best selfie camera. And I have to admit, though, it does a fantastic job with selfies and photos like that as such. I mean, it does a good representation of my skin tone, which is something I've been talking about lately in my camera videos because I realized, look, a lot of the cameras nowadays do a good job, but also they do different types of work with different skin tones. I am darker than most people. So for me, seeing that better representation of my skin tone with this camera makes a lot of sense for me. Whether it's the front camera or the rear cameras, we take a really good do 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 a really good job. Now, in terms of low light conditions, the camera also excels there quite well. Of course, we're all at home and we can't really go out because of the quarantine. So I couldn't go to a lot of the places I like to go to to take photos. But at least around my home and also my rooftop was able to see how good it actually comes out and looks and i have to say i am impressed with the camera i think they've overall done a really good job with what this camera brings to the table now before we go away from camera you're thinking okay what about the different zooms and things like that that's also solid and i have a camera video uh versus the Galaxy uh, S20 Ultra. You can go check it out to see what it actually does there and to see how it compares with another camera that has a zoom lens. Now I said earlier my SIM card is in the device. So what about day-to-day -day use? How do I use the device? What about my apps and things like that? With Huawei devices, there are a couple of ways to get your application. The first and easiest way is a phone clone, uh, which is an app uh, you can use to clone all the apps from your device to, of course, this Huawei device, which is nice, easy, and simple. Uh, since I did a fresh install, there are a couple of ways. I can use the Huawei App Store to download a lot of the applications that I use. Now, not every application is there, so what I ended up using for a lot of the other applications I wanted to use is APK Pure. I really love these guys. Now, this is not sponsored or anything. Uh, APK, APK Pure is a site that you can download APKs. If you download the application from their website, you can go ahead and install directly from the app. It acts as an app store on its own as well. So that is actually pretty cool. Also tells you about updates for your application. So you don't have to worry about not having the latest version of application. It will work there as well. So being able to go in, play, you know, get my Amazon store, Netflix, uh, you know, Pinterest, you name it, all those kind of applications that you really wanna use are also key. Now, some of you will go, okay, what about banking app? So what I've done is gone ahead and pinned my uh, banking sites to my desktop. I use the Edge browser. Again, this is not sponsored. I've started using the Edge browser from Microsoft after they did the update on, on PC. And I have to tell you, I really like this browser. So the ability to pin those apps, so I've got my uh, Bank of America, I've got my other banking apps. I also even have YouTube pinned it as well, because of course I can't use YouTube on uh, this device directly. Now, in terms of email, I use Outlook. I love looking using Outlook, and you can use all your email services on there. Yes, even Gmail too. So there are ways to use this device, and I think um, if you just spend just a little time in actually getting what you want, you'll be able to use this device quite effectively. Um, and I have to say though, for a device like this, it covers, you know, usability is really good once you have everything set up. Uh, my day-to-day -day was easy to navigate between most of the things I want to do. Um, except, of course, since I'm a YouTuber, the YouTube Studio app is just one thing I cannot use. But, but again, I'm a special case, and that's not for everyone, right? So for me, I would say usability has been great, and people will ask about that to so realize that this device is something you can use on a day-to-day 
everyday basis. Now, this video is not sponsored by anyone, not by Huawei, not by any of the apps I mentioned. It's just the fact that that's what I've been using and that's how I've used it and it's worked quite well. Now, when you're talking about day-to-day -day usability, what about battery life? How does this actually function? You know, what kind of battery life am I getting? I have a 90 hertz display now on the Kirin 990. It's a 5G device. So I've got my T-Mobile SIM here. I, it doesn't support 5G for the US here, but I will tell you my battery life has been really, really good. I've been able to do a full day with it, uh, no issues, uh, of course, just using the device as is. So I do like that. Now this is coupled with a 4200 milliamp battery built into the P40 Pro. The other benefits of this device too is that you've got some really nice charging speeds. You've got a uh, 40 watt uh, wire charger and a 27 watt wireless charger. Now you can check out my results uh, with the comparison against the Galaxy S20 Ultra to see how well it performs uh, in terms of charging. It's about 59 minutes or so, I think, for the wire charging. The wireless charging is like an hour 17, which is great. So think about it, 27 watts wireless charges this device. That's truly awesome, that's fast, that's effective. Plus you still have reverse wireless charging as well. So you can charge your, you know, your buds, your another phone or something with it. Doesn't matter. Those are the things that I do like about this device. Now, as you would expect, I've also done a considerable amount of gaming on this device. And what I can tell you off the bat is that all the games you care about, all the high performing games that you like to play, PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, Fortnite, run really well on this device. Uh, there are no hiccups. The Kirin 990 processor does a little good, really good job there. Uh, but also having that 90 hertz display comes into effect so the games that support it do actually run well at 90 hertz. I think overall, the Huawei P40 Pro is a really solid device. There are a few things for me to gripe about. I would like to see maybe improvements with the video recording in terms of stabilization. That has gotten better over time and I'd just like to see more improvements there. Um, I would like to see maybe uh, going back to more of the, the P30 look in terms of uh, some of the night uh, photos. Again, just some, not much, but I really can't complain. I'm stretching and looking for things here. I think overall, the last two weeks using this device has been a pleasure.